good evening let's go to today's market nifty ended up in the positive 11570 124.95 points in the positive 1.09 percent in the positive opened around 11463.65 which, which is well above the previous closing uh, in the flat positive at low is around 11,452 which is not even uh, came towards to the previous close on and the high 11,588.50 let's go to my prediction review uh, in my prediction the bullish trend is having around resistant level 1 and the bearish trend is having around overall average 11,418 but today the market has opened in between the R1 and the previous closing and it is not even broken the previous close around 11,445 and straight away it is uh, moved towards to the positive side slow and steadily and it has broken that key range of R1 which is 11,511 uh, once it has reached that level it is a clear indication that bull is having some control uh, but still we need to play very cautiously with the stop loss if anyone go for a shot on that particular level that is what I, I told and today it has uh, reached that uh, uh, resistance level 2 almost there around 11,588 is the high but in our resistance level 2 which is around 11,598 uh, but in, in my data it is shown in the volatile market uh, because the ratio indicating positive but other averages and weightages all indicating in the negative but still opening we need to watch out opening on the positive side uh, because in the flat negative it shall shown around 100 points which means first half an hour is very crucial if anything opens the negative with the bear trend negative it is going to lead the market towards to the negative side but today the opening is on the positive when the opening is not open below this overall average so that is the one key indication bearish uh, is not there today I expected a bearish kind of a, a trend um, but the opening which is on the positive side and the opening which is on the uh, uh, previous close is not even broken so after that it has moved towards to the positive if anything opens on the overall average or below it is going to indicate a bearish trend uh, and it has closed in the range of uh, somewhere around if you take the average of resistance level 3 to resistance level 1 which is 11,580 on the square of it has closed around 11,570 today let's go to a Friday prediction on Friday the ratio indicating on the negative side 2 is to 4 weightage indicating on the negative side 3.69 uh, versus 4.13 and average indicating on the negative side around uh, uh, 0 is to 2 and absolute frequency we don't have the end time and we don't have so still we need to play very cautiously and once again it is showing that uh, uh, negative impact is there so we need to watch out the opening once again because the flat negative itself shows around 100 points uh, why why it is showing like that why because the first half one is very crucial uh, if anything opens below the bearish trend or maybe negative so it is indicating that uh, it may lead the market within half an hour to one hour uh, uh, decide the market towards to that level so that is what it is indicating so whenever the negative average itself shows too much negative or maybe the positive itself shows too much positive uh, that first half an hour to one hour is very much crucial so we need to watch out the opening and the overall average shows around 41 points in the negative these are all the uh, resistance and support levels uh, so the bullish range is having around resistance level 1 itself around 26 points so 27 points 26 to 27 points uh, where which uh, if, if anything opens above that level opening itself shows that market is going to be a bullish market but still we need to play with a straight stop loss why because these are all the ranges anyone can go for a buy or sell with a stop loss so it, it, if, you, if you go for a sell you need to keep stop loss and if you go for a buy you need to keep stop loss with the 5 to 10 points so sometimes it works sometimes it get hit the stop loss so you will get out of minimum losses so the first kind of scenario if the market is opens well above the, that resistant level 1 which is going to indicate the bullish market but at the same same time if it is not uh, reaching that uh, positive average which, which which indicates the market will come down once again after 
reaching some level so we need to take the average because the points are very huge so we need to take the average of positive average and the resistant level one which is 11696 so there is going to be a one resistant on this particular range 11696 so if anything opens above that level market may try to lead towards to 11,696 it is possible but anyone go for a buy they need to keep stop loss in the in this previous close range of 11,570 or maybe the average of these two levels resistance level one and the uh, previous closing which is 11,000 583 5 to 10 points below that they need to keep stop and go for a buy on the other end if the market is opens in between the resistant level one and the previous closing on the flattish guidance for example five points ten points in the flat positive still we, they need to keep stop loss in the previous closing and go for a buy uh, so if it is uh, breaking this resistant level one it may go towards to the average of uh, that 11,696 so that is one kind of scenario on the other end if the market is opens on the negative side flat negative it may open um, well above overall average and below the previous closing in between uh, uh, somewhere in the flat negative some five points ten points maybe because the uh, overall average shows around 52 points in between zero to 52 points in the negative side in between opens means we, uh, uh, we need to go for a short with the stop loss of previous closing and it may have a, a chance to reach somewhere in the level of a support level one if it is breaking then it may go to the average as well so this is the another kind of scenario on the other hand if the opening itself marker is market is opening somewhere below this support level one or overall average then still it is indicating clear bear market so it has a good chance to reach 11,447 or below support level 2 as well. It is depends on how fast it is going to move. For example, in the opening um, uh, itself, some 60 points in the downside it shows. And uh, the one uh, first half an hour to one hour, if it is goes towards to the average around 122, then the market is having strong bearish trend it may lead the market towards to 200 to 250 points in the negative side that is possible because of support level 2 we are having twice uh, breaking that particular level is not going to be easy but still it has a good chance to reach why because we are having a ne negative average on 262 points around 2.27 percent so it may lead the market towards to that extent uh, one more key point is that we don't have absolute frequency for the entire month so all results are possible on these kind of parameters day uh, even though if four key indications are sh showing uh, in the one side like for example on the negative or maybe in the positive still the opening is not supporting that side means it may end up on the opposite direction so all we need to watch out is where the market is going to open on this specific day but still keep uh, that stop loss with 5 to 10 points and go with uh, whatever you like for example bullish or bearish it is up to you let's see how the market is going to give us on friday thank you